Hey, I just recently upgraded my dust collection system from a Harbor Freight unit to a CV1800 Clearview Cyclone, and I could not be happier with the results. While I'm excited about the new system, I really want to show you the way I've got everything set up to give you some ideas on how you can get better dust collection in your shop. So as you're watching some of these test cuts being made, I'm, and I'm going to be doing this at all of my tools, so you'll be able to see uh, the results as they happen. But the Cyclone that I'm using is made by Clearview Cyclones. It's the CV1800. I'll leave a link down in the description for you so you can check them out. I'm upgrading from, like I said, a Harbor Freight unit to this Cyclone, and man, what a difference. So you saw the planer, it's got a blower in the ejection port. So it's got a little help blowing the chips out and up and through the hose and back to the cyclone. Now here at the bandsaw, I've got two hoses connected. I'm not using the factory port, which is on the bottom wheel. Uh, I've got it taped off. I've got one hose, as you see, that's going out of frame there. That's just going to the bottom side of that table where the blade is coming through. And then the other hose is going to, to to the top of the table and it's just following the blade down. I've got it tie wrapped so when I adjust the height of clearance that I need, that hose will adjust with it. And as you can see, there's a little bit of on the table there, but not anything like it was. So I'm very happy with that. Now here at the jointer, I've got uh, the dust collector, uh, dust collector turned off. So you can kind of see the difference here. So I'm, I'm gonna make two passes here at the jointer uh, and you're going to see all this dust on the table. Now, this is a helical head uh, jointer 240 unit, and it's got some power to it, so it's just going to blow the dust back onto the bed of the jointer. Now, I've got the dust collector on now, and you'll be able to see the difference. This has a 6-inch sweeping 90 coming out of the base of this jointer, and it's going up uh, not very far to the cyclone, uh, so it has no problem whatsoever uh, collecting the dust. And here in the, in the next shot, you'll be able to see as I'm cutting, the dust being collected in the cyclone and it's kind of hard to not want to watch this thing because it's so cool to see the dust going in circles so just be careful <laughs> and pay attention to what you're doing but yeah so that thing is really collecting the dust there hardly anything left on the bed of the joiner two thumbs up very very happy with that setup uh, before uh, i had a smaller six inch joiner and man that thing made a big mess uh, one of the biggest improvements that I've seen so far is my miter saw station. I, I used to have a miter saw station in the shop. It did okay, and then I just got rid of it and then talk about a big mess. I didn't have a station at all. So I decided to build a new miter saw station for a small shop environment. And this is really working out. I've got some removable panels on the front, of, front side of this miter saw station i'll link the miter saw station plans in the website article um, that i'm going to be linking below so you can find the article down below in the description that setup is really working out better than i than i expected uh, and there's hardly anything left on there i mean you can see some dust but i'm telling you i can live with that compared to what it used to be so be sure and check out the website article and check out the plans for that miter saw station now here at the table saw, I've added a uh, shark guard. It's an overarm four inch dust port that fits over the blade. I've got to uh, do a little bit of modification here because the weight of the hose wants to pull that little guard over a little bit. But that's no big deal, I've got plans for that and I'll make another video and be sure to share it. But look at the suction here. You can see that strip of wood, it's just being, I mean, it, it's got a lot of suction there. <laughs> Notice the cyclone. It's cleaning out my dust collector. I'm, I'm sorry, it's cleaning out my table saw, the cabinet down below where I've had so much dust just settle. It's just sucking it all up. But notice this cut here and notice the table. That's a beautiful sight right there because there's hardly any dust on the table. That's a huge improvement as well. Now, the CNC already had really good dust collection. I was using a shop vac, uh, but Inventables has done a really good job with their dust shoe. Uh, and the dust collection on this unit. I have the 1000 millimeter X car from Inventables. If you're interested in, an, in a CNC uh, solution, I'll be sure and link them below. Uh, just a d disclaimer that it's going to be a, an affiliate link. But if you want to check out Inventables and their X car, uh, 
Um, I highly recommend them. I love this unit. It handles all of my needs. And as you can see, there's no dust left on this project. So big thumbs up for that. Now for the lathe area, you can see this hood just almost out of frame at the top there. And I only have that there for the sanding uh, part of turning up a project. All the heavy stuff that I turned previously just fell to the floor and on the cabinet. And, and I'll show you in just a second how I clean that up. But this works out really, really good for the sanding part of any project. As you can see, if you look closely, you can see all the, the fine dust just making its way up to the, to the hood there, which turned out really cool. Now, I am using Rockler's Dust Right Floor Sweep uh, to clean up everything. I can clean up around the lathe, and that's why I've got it uh, mounted here close by the lathe so I can clean up after I'm turning a project. But also, when I am cleaning up the shop, I can use this uh, because you can get this in different lengths. Uh, and so this will reach uh, halfway around the shop, around the table saw one way and around the other way as well. And it allows me to clean up the floor very, very easy. And it works really good. As you can see, the dust, dust collector, the Cyclone, uh, is just putting on a show there. Now, for around the cabinet and around the lathe, like I said, this is a quick change, and so you can put on the uh, the little nozzle there and take the, the floor sweep off and clean up around a bench or around any kind of tool that you might have, but it re works really, really good uh, in this situation. Okay, so now I'm at the outfeed assembly table. Uh, the router lift and a downdraft table are both incorporated into my outfeed assembly table. Now, the router lift that I'm using is a J Bates design. He's got a, a port at the bottom of that lift and with my router fence on top this is an excellent solution to dust collection uh, for working with a router uh, so there's no dust left on this table whatsoever uh, really really happy and this worked actually this worked well with my other dust collector uh, but with the cyclone and the power and the suction it provides it's just no match for dust on, at this uh, router router table now I'm just going to demonstrate here how this all works. I've got a couple of different inserts here. One insert for when I'm using the router and the fence there. Uh, and I've got a, a blank insert that I can put on there when I'm done using the router so I can use the entire table. And you can see what kind of suction this dust collector's got because I'm showing you here, and I'm not exaggerating, it really does have that much suction. And the downdraft uh, portion of this table works really really good as well now I've got a filter on this sander obviously uh, so you know that's just to catch any other dust that may escape but with the other dust collector the Harbor Freight unit this was okay but now with the cyclone it's really good and as you can see it's got some suction there as well uh, just demonstrating with a couple, couple pieces of wood in that insert uh, that it does indeed have pretty good suction I want to stop just a minute and mention Filter By. Filter By has come on board uh, to sponsor some of my content this year, and I just thought it was fitting to bring them into this video, being a dust collection video. Uh, I, I do use their filters in my air filtration unit, and I also use them in my own home. Uh, but to kind of give you a little background on Filter By, they're a family owned business. They are uh, in Alabama, actually, just down the road from where I am in Mississippi. Uh, but all of their filters are made right here in the USA. Uh, and if you use their subscription service uh, where they send you filters, just ship them directly to your door um, when it's time to change your filters out, you can save 5% on the cost. And plus, all orders are shipped free within 24 hours. So I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can go check them out. Now, getting into the way the tools are set up, uh, the CNC, like I mentioned, is just going to a dust shoe on their unit. Uh, but I've got it going over to uh, one of Clearview's uh, blast gates. It's a six inch coming in with two fours coming out, and that allows uh, for airflow to both tools. And then from there, it goes all the way back to the cyclone. Now for the bandsaw, I've got the same setup. It's the six inch, two fours out, and I've got two hoses coming in, and one is going, like I said, over, and the other one is coming in from the bottom. And this really offers a lot of uh, dust collection there at the table. So that's working out as well. Now the planer is also hooked up to the same blast gate that the CNC is hooked up to. And I'll leave both of those gates open when using either one of those. Now 
going over to the jointer, I've got a six inch blast gate, uh, which is on some of the other tools as well. But that comes down, goes through a flexible uh, metal six inch hose down to a sweeping 90 into the jointer. Uh, and that is all there is to it. Now coming out, going to the outfit assembly table to the router and the down draft, it's coming six inch into one of the clear view cyclone blast gates and two fours out. Uh, and I'll leave both of those gates open as well. Now looking at the table saw, this is the dust collection for the table saw and I've got both four, uh, four inch ports uh, going to the table saw. One coming over to the over the blade which is a shark guard uh, overhead port. This is the four inch version and the other one is going down to the bottom of the table saw and that goes all the way back to the cyclone. Now coming all the way over and around is going to my miter saw. It'll come down, go through a flexible six inch uh, hose there. And then also there is a six inch blast gate for that. Going into the miter saw station, which has some of these removable panels um, that work so well. And the miter saw station is working out fantastic. Now extending on past the miter saw, I'm going through another six inch blast gate and a metal six inch flexible hose down to where the lathe area is and also the cleanup area or the cleanup hose. Now I've got this big gulp hood and also Rockler's floor sweep and hose there. Uh, and both of those are working out really, really good. For all of the pipe and metal hoses and six inch blast gates, uh, these were from Rockler. And so if you're interested in that, be sure and check out the website article. I'll have all that stuff linked for you. Okay, so hopefully you got something out of that dust collection tour. Uh, the goal here is to control the dust. You know, however that looks in your shop. Maybe you got some ideas um, throughout the video. If so, take that to your shop. Take action on it. Control the dust there. Uh, I've also written a website article on my blog to where I go into more detail, provide links uh, for the different things that I used here in my shop and in my setup. Uh, if that interests you, there's, there's a link down in the description. Uh, you might see a link here on the screen somewhere. Uh, for instance, like the miter saw station uh, that I've got here in my shop, I've got plans for that. The outfeed table that I'm using here for the router, I've got plans for that as well. The dust collection on those two things are really, really good. I would not do anything different uh, for those two things. So if that's something that interests you, check those out. I'll have those linked in the website article uh, for you. And if you're not a subscriber here, please subscribe. I uh, would love to see you back here again. And as always, thank you for watching.